Hey there you guys, welcome back. Uh, today I just want to do a quick little update and uh, share with you that my Vanda is, uh, is open. The, uh, the blooms have opened. Uh, I'm very excited to say that this is the second year in a row that it has flowered during the summertime. And I'm super excited about it because this plant for a few years had uh, been producing buds during the fall and winter months and then they uh, they blast. So uh, just wanted to have this little update saying that you don't have to be a perfect grower of Vandas to enjoy some beautiful blooms from time to time. I've had this plant for, I don't know, at least 10 years, maybe 12 years, maybe longer. You guys might let me know. Many of you have been watching for a very long time and tell me all about it. Uh, but uh, this plant I got as a little seedling, and uh, as you can see, it has grown fairly well. Uh, it has had not the greatest conditions, especially over the winter. Uh, it's grown in the house over the winter time. I don't water it on a regular basis. It's not in a bright spot. It's underneath a, a LED light uh, over the sink in the, the grow room. And uh, yeah, it gets good light, but not bright light. And uh, like I said, I don't water it all that often. I try to do it once a week, maybe, but uh, chances are it goes two, maybe even three weeks before I pop it in the sink and just drench it. Um, and it would like it a lot more than that, for sure. And that's the reason why the, the buds blast over the winter. But in the summertime, usually on a daily basis, I spray it with a hose. I'll show you what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, now it's finally starting to reward, reward me with some, uh, some flowers. As you can see, they're looking pretty nice. Uh, it's a cute little cluster. I can't wait until I start getting more than one uh, bloom spike at a time, uh, but uh, I've got time. I've got time. Soon I'll have to divide this out. I've got a lot of uh, bad roots in here, just rotted over time, not rotted, but uh, decayed over time. Uh, so I need to go in here and clean it up. There's also a bunch of babies in here. Uh, they've, it's produced some offsets. I don't know whether you're able to see anything in there, but uh, it... Uh, it's old and weathered and hasn't been in the best growing conditions, like I said. When I put it outside, I like to give it uh, good light. Um, I try to shelter it from the hot, hot midday sun, but it gets a lot of full sun. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, I thought I'd just uh, share that update with you. Not everybody uh, thinks they can grow a Vanda, but why not try? So I forgot to show you, but uh, I can see it clearly here. Uh, this is the original pot that I had it planted in. I believe this is at least at least 10 years old, uh, and uh, it's still attached. The roots still like to, to attach to it, and there's still some, some LECA up in here that uh, was the original uh, media. And let's just take a quick look here. This is a baby plant here, right there, and uh, there's another baby plant that's uh, growing right here, and uh, yeah. So, <laughs> as you can see, it's been uh, not treated the best, but uh, it seems to be fairly happy um, under these conditions, I suppose. It could be much better. Um, but anyway, uh, look at those beautiful blooms. Anyway, uh, hopefully you're uh, having good luck with your, uh, your orchids and maybe your Vanda. And until next time, you guys, happy growing.